So now we are talking to Norbert Varga, who is um, lead developer for Equinox, right? Yes, I'm the lead designer on Equinox DB Send from Digital Arrow. So glad talking to you. So you showed us a bit of a presentation of the current uh, status of the game. Yes. And you said, for example, that there are uh, some heroes that you can choose from to play with as no. characters, right? Uh, these are your crew, so it's not you can you don't really choose which one to play. They are all in your ship, but you can choose who's your primary pilot. Okay, so my question is based on that. Does the story alter when I choose a different primary pilot, or does that not influence the story at all? Uh, not influencing the general story, but how you experience it, because there are different. Uh, they're better with different ships. So depending on who's your primary pilot, you will have some advantages and disadvantages with certain ship classes. Hmm. But the story itself, the missions are identical. They are, but how you can play them is going to be slightly different. Okay. You also mentioned that the game is not very forgiving on mistakes, like on mines, for example. No, they are not. <laughs> so how about beginner players that didn't play the prequels to the game? Well, the game is going to be, the way we're doing it is, it's going to be easy to start playing. So whoever so far tried the game, they immediately got into the game in like a few minutes. But when you got into the more complex parts, that's going to be hard to master. So you should save often because you could run in a dead end if you're <laughs> unlucky? Um, maybe. I mean, it really depends on the player. Okay. You, you also mentioned that you are primarily developing for PC. Uh, we are a PC developer, but we're looking at consoles as well. So we're hoping for a simul simultaneous console release as well. Uh, but if it doesn't be a simultaneous, it will certainly be as soon as possible afterwards. That's good to know, because recent release from other companies had the problem that sometimes the PC version was sluggish or wouldn't work as good because it was converted oh. from the consoles. Uh, we're developing simultaneously, okay. so we're not really, we're not making a port basically. So Okay, so you said at the Kickstarter you collected feedback from old players. Yes. What's the most excited feature that's coming in the new Equinox? I think a lot of people really like that we opened up the game world, so it's we're not putting players into missions, instead you can explore the world yourself. And also the four-player co-op, which is a drop-in co-op, and all the characters that you can play are part of the story, mm -hmm. so you don't feel like a shadow. And the ship customization, you can take... We have some of the old ships coming back, but you can customize them, and some people are like, whoa, they're really excited about that. Okay, but then you also said it wouldn't be too open, because yes. you are a small developer. Uh, well. It, we are making a game world which is uh, semi-open world, but the way that works is that you, as you progress in the story, you unlock new zones, but you can always revisit. Mm -hmm. Will you maybe expand the game when somebody pushes the game after a while? And uh, maybe make it bigger or change the gameplay a bit? Uh, well, there's obviously always room for improvement and additions, but we will need to see how the community reacts first. Mm. And so the Kickstarter and the feedback was very successful. So yes, it was. You hope for a successful game? Yes, we certainly do. Okay. So do you plan, if this is very successful and it sells well after the Kickstarter, um, as it now it's finished, do you plan to make another Equinox after this, like a fifth part? Uh, well, if a game does well and there is requirement for something like that, obviously we will listen to our fans. It would be a mistake not to follow up on that. Okay. So, I mean, I can confirm that now, but it's certainly an option. Okay. May I ask a critical question? Critical? Is, yes. I mean, is there something <laughs> you would like to implement, but maybe is too hard to do or would take too much time, and that's maybe for next sequel? Uh, actually, I think everything that we gathered from feedbacks and from our ideas is, is going to be in the game. So I, I don't can really pick out anything specifically. So, but there is always room for improvement, and there are ideas coming in constantly. So. Okay. So let me ask you a final question. Yes. What's the most requested feature from the from the fans that you put in? 
Uh, I think that a lot of people really wanted us to make a game that feels uh, dangerous and underwater, uh, that it pays homage to the old games. And from the feedback we've got so far in the game, it seems that we're really on the right track. So darker than the prequels? Uh, yes, I guess I could say so. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> And when are you planning to release this final uh, game then? The release is planned for next year, uh, Q2, so late spring, early summer, May, June. Okay, but there should be, could be some delay or something, because you are not really picking a, def a definite time. Uh, there could be, there always could be. As, as they say, game development is like a thin ice, sometimes it can break. Okay, yeah, thank you very much for answering my questions. Yes, thank you as well for coming and having me.